Welcome, welcome, welcome to another episode of 3D Boxing Podcast. It is good to be back. Um, it's some good news, some bad news. Jamel, Har- oh, Jamel Herring calls it quits. Excellent career. He's going to move on now, 36 years old. Uh, before we get into that, please like, share, and subscribe. Quick Hits comes at you every day, 8 to 10 minutes a day, to keep you up to date on the latest, greatest boxing news and rumors. Um, please also subscribe to the other channel, Texas Boxing Scene. All proceeds from that channel go to autism research and recovery. It's very near and dear to our heart. Um, so let's get into the news. Jamel Herring uh, says, I appreciate everything. Thank you all. It's time to move on and enjoy more time with my family. Um, I love the sport, but I owe it to my family to quit putting them through these moments. Uh, thank you all. Whether you were with or against me, you made me who I am, but it's time. Certainly sounds like uh, Jamal Herring is uh, calling it quits. The former Olympian, the former world champion, had a really interesting career. Um, obviously, he got a late start. He um, in the pros, um, he turned pro all the way back in 2012, uh, December of 2012. He defeated uh, by unanimous decision Jose Valderrama um, in Anaheim. He ran 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 15 fights in a row before the, he got uh, stopped by Shafikov. Um, then he, he beat uh, Hoenician, which is a good win, and then lost to Ladarius Miller in very close fashion. Um, then he ran off another, you know, 10 wins in a row or so before losing to, losing to Shakur, and then most recently, Jermaine Ortiz. Um, he got beat up bad. By Shakur in a fight that I thought, you know, Shakur would obviously win. Um, you know, Shakur should have been the favorite. Shakur is a, you know, high level, elite level fighter. Um, you know, Shakur is probably the best skilled fighter in the sport right now. I wasn't surprised that he beat Jamal. I just, it, it was the fashion and, and stopping him, which was, you know, it was the one sidedness of the fight. You know, uh, Jamal maybe won one round in that fight. And then he loses to Jermaine Ortiz. Jermaine Ortiz. Good-looking prospect, not setting the world on fire. 15, now 16, 0-1. Oh, um, he fought a lot um, up in the Northeast, Massachusetts, um, things like that. He's from Worcester, Massachusetts. Again, he has a draw with Joseph Adorno, uh, which is, you know, like before the Jamal Herring fight, his draw with Adorno was his best win, right? His best win was a draw. <clears throat> um, and, and he probably won that fight. He probably deserved the decision in that fight. Um, but you go through and there's not much else. You know, uh, before that, he, he fought not here Albright. You know, what I'm saying is Jermaine Ortiz is a good prospect. If you can no longer beat Jermaine Ortiz, then it's probably time to move on. And and that's what, uh, in classy fashion, that's, that's what Jamal Herring did. You know, you could tell that little fight on ESPN with Ortiz. Herring knew he didn't win. It was close. Um, and you could argue that, you know, he got five rounds, you could give him a draw, but you could tell uh, he did, he knew he hadn't done enough. I mean, he knew he wasn't the same and he was actually, you know, just getting beat to the punch. He's 36 years old. Like I said, um, he's born 1985. So the 2012 Olympics, he's 26 years old, almost 27 years old. You know, um, that's not typical for American fighters. He turns pro. He runs off a bunch of, you know, first of all, he qualifies for the Olympics out of nowhere. Like, no one expects him to, to win the box off. He does. He makes the Olympic team. He's named captain of the Olympic team. You know, U.S. Marine, it's a great story. You know, he loses in the first round. He turns pro. <clears throat> you know, I looked at him. And I said, I don't see this guy as being a very good pro. I mean, he's. He's fundamentally sound. He's got good mechanics. He's got okay speed. Uh, he'll be okay. I don't think he'll ever get to an elite level. I don't think he'll ever be even a top 15 guy in his own weight class. Um, and uh, you know, that seemed to be the case when he lost to Shafikov. He got beat up by Shafikov, got outboxed by Ladarius Miller in a close fight, got outpointed by him. Um, and I was like, yeah, I mean, it's a shame uh, that, that this is as high as it goes because, you know, you couldn't ask for a better guy. You know, everyone likes, you know, Jamel Herring. Everyone roots for Jamel Herring. Um, 
but this is, I mean, the, the ceiling's not much really higher than this. And then he goes on a streak. He gets with Paul Mack. He signs with top rank. <clears throat> then he goes on a run. Um, and it was highly impressive. It was really, really impressive. He, he ends up, he wins a world title. Um, he did, uh, he, he, I'm sorry. Uh, he, he, uh, First, he beats uh, Atlas de Santos. Then, in uh, May of 2019, he wins a world title. Uh, he's, he, he outclasses Ito in a wide, wide unanimous decision. Then he defends against Lamont Roach. Then he defends against uh, J- Jonathan Okendo um, in, a, in a fight that wasn't his most impressive. Then he gives us his best win to, of his career. Um, and that's the six-round stoppage of Carl Frampton. And this you know, takes him to the, the Shakur Stevenson fight, and people... You know, uh, he just destroyed Carl Frampton. You know, maybe he's got a chance. And ultimately, he didn't. Uh, Shakur Stevenson, you know, Shakur Stevenson was, uh, you know, 24, 25. Herring was 35. Even if, the, you know, Herring was younger, he still has not beat Shakur Stevenson. Shakur Stevenson is just extremely gifted fighter. Um, then he goes back up to 135. You know, uh, his losses came at 135. He's obviously a better fighter at 130. He takes Jermaine Ortiz on. Um, in a fight he should win, most people think he is going to win, um, and he loses, you know, a competitive decision. And if you can't beat Jermaine Ortiz, it's time to hang it up. And that's ultimately what he did. Um, I just want to tip my hat to Jamel Herring. Um, look forward to seeing whatever you have in your future career. I'm sure it'll be there'll be some involvement in boxing. I still do some commentating or something. Uh, he's got a lot of boxing knowledge. He's a likable guy, affable guy. People tend to like him. Um, you know, he, he, he articulates the sport well. Um, so I'm sure this is not the last we'll see of Jamel Herring in the boxing world, but it's been an honor. Um, and it's been surprising. You know, I, even when I said I, I never really thought Herring would even be a top 10 to 15 guy in his weight class, um, I still rooted for him. I still wanted him to get there. And ultimately, you know, he got to the highest level. He's a, he became a world champion, defended his belt three times. No one can ever take that away from him. A uh, former 130 pound world champ. Um, and, and a really good career. It's not a career that ends in the hall of fame. Um, but from where it started at, you know, 26, 27 years old to go 23 and four, win a world title, make three defenses. I didn't expect any of that. Um, I really didn't. Um, yeah, I was hoping he just could make a few bucks, <laughs> you know, and, um, take care of his family. Um, and you know, Herring gunner in the Marines, you know, we know the tragedies that he suffered as a dad. It's really a great guy. And, and to see him overcome all of this and put together such a great career, become a world champion. Um, it's really a touching moment and it's really, really good. Um, so let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Just wanted to report that Jamel Herring has called it quits. Um, remember to please like share and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog, and all forms of social media. Uh, please subscribe to our other channel, Texas Boxing Scene, on YouTube. Texas Boxing Scene. Uh, all proceeds go to Autism Research and Recovery. It is May 23rd, 2022. From Texas to the world, thank you, and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.